what you guys got another video here for you this one is a mini pc and we're going to be taking a look at it in this video this one is the cl100 fanless mini pc built by uh, logicsupply.com and uh, i must admit i was blown away when i received it it really is decent and it's a good build quality it's not one of those cheap uh, types of uh, computers with plastic this is all aluminium and also passively cooled which means there's no uh, moving parts inside here either this has got solid state drive in here decent bit of memory and it's fast and it does the job now also they sent over a few catalogs here as you can see they do various different types of builds and you can customize them and also uh, upgrade them and stuff like that and uh, the stuff they do over there is pretty decent so if you want to check them out it's at logicsupply.com now these are not just your normal computer as you can see these are for industrial use as well and also they do a lot of other types of computers which you can order from them now they're also different powers i.e you can get higher cpus and then more memory and uh, bigger sizes right from the small size to the bigger size uh, mini pcs as well now again i can't stress enough how much stuff they actually have over there and they can put together pretty much anything you need uh, depending on your requirements you can see here uh, versatile mini ITX PCs you can see EMI and ESD protected computers cooled under pressure uh, computers you know what I mean so everything you need here is uh, on their website you can check it out they give you the full specs uh, of what you're going to get when you pick all your parts and of course once it's done they'll deliver it to you and uh, they'll ship it out and it'll come just like this now, of course, your specs will be different to this one because you can customize it to suit your needs. But this one has uh, a Celeron processor in there. Also, it does have uh, Intel HD graphics, which is uses on the chip. Supports 8 gigabytes of DDR3 at 1600 megahertz. This one will let you go up to 16 gigabytes, 1 gigabyte LAN, 2 HDMI, 1 display port and 3 USB 3.0 ports audio in and out. It comes very well packaged inside the box here. And I will give you the full specs. It has some weight to it. So as you can see here, the warranty is a two-year limited uh, warranty on parts and service. Also, the expected life cycle of this is five years. You do have uh, a Celeron Intel processor on here, N3160 at uh, 1.6 gigahertz. And the turbo frequency is 2.24 gigahertz with processor of four cores. 16 gigabytes of memory can have in this at 1600 megahertz so there's two uh, memory slots on there as well uh, one gigabyte uh, LAN port and three USB ports 3.0 ports on here there's other stuff you can pause the screen and read them at your own leisure as you can see here there's some more stuff inside the box let's get it out and see what we got here so there's some different adapters for plugs depending on what country you're on so we're in the UK and there is a UK one in there. We have our little power brick or power adapter uh, for the little computer, as you can see here. And we can need to change that because it's got a two pin plug on there. And I'll do that a little bit later. And of course, we have some blocks here. These are port blocks. These are to plug into the port. And I should imagine it's to either block dust or something like that uh, on them ports that you plug them into. I need to check that out. And uh, we have a wall bracket here which allows us to mount this to the wall and uh, there is also a button which can be pushed on the top or the side which allows you to push the power button just in case you mount it to the wall i'll uh, try and find out what these uh, port blocks are really for i think they're dust blocks and uh, we've got some uh, grommets here for the bottom and also we have our antenna now also you can buy extra antennas or bigger antennas and you can see this lovely aluminium uh, case here very rugged and uh, sturdy uh, build quality on this. And uh, again, you can upgrade these uh, aerials or antennas if you want to, to bigger sizes, uh, or you can just uh, use one or two, depending on what you want to do uh, with your uh, custom build, as you can see here. And But these ones were perfectly fine, or one of them was just perfectly fine for what I needed. And you can see that button here on the front, and it also pushes from the side if you mount it to the wall which is a nice feature. And again, we have our audio jack, 3.5 mil audio jack for headphones and microphone there. Uh, 3.0 USB port and your USB type C port is on that side as well. I'm not sure what that is there, but that's pretty much that side. And you can see you push the orange button from there. And uh, we also have another antenna port. Now also we have our power port here where we can power the device 
and also we have two HDMI ports here a one gigabyte LAN port right there which we can plug here our LAN into if we want to another HDMI port and also a display port right there and we have another two 3.0 USB ports right here as well which is really nice to have those extra USB ports on such a small little device now on the bottom you can see here it's got this orange color held in by four screws I'll remove those in a second so you can check it out and you can see the build quality on this is pretty exceptional it's very good there's no running fans inside here so it is expected to get a little bit hot to the touch and that's because it's passively cooled uh, but it had no problems I benchmarked it and also run some tests on here you can see some expansion in there I could also put an extra bit of memory in there if I wanted to and uh, you can see that mini SATA uh, card in there as well and a Wi-Fi on the side here so there's plenty of room for expansion on here I think this is an ASRock motherboard it got detected as an ASRock motherboard uh, but it did say unknown on some devices that I used to try and detect what motherboard it was you can see a SATA uh, port there as well so there is a little bit of room for expansion inside here but as you can see very nice and clean uh, very easily to maintain and uh, five years these are supposed to last up to so that's pretty outstanding so as you can see it can also play games now I'm pretty sure that their website is not geared up for gamers or anything like that but if you are interested uh, you can still play games on this particular device and of course you can see this is World of Tanks it will play other games as well and uh, you can use it for a media server just a computer if you want to whatever you really want to use it for it's uh, capable of doing that it's just a computer at the end of the day now it's passively uh, cooled which means it will get a little bit hot to touch on the outside it got to uh, 42 celsius on the outside and they said it gets to 40 celsius and that's fine because the ambient room temperature and stuff like that but as you can see it functions perfectly fine uh, with a passively cooled uh, mini pc so i'm pretty impressed with that uh, also again if you want to use it use other games on here you can do uh, this is just something i tested so we'll take a further look at what else it can do so let's just check out some of these uh, temperatures we're going to go into computer here and uh, go into sensor and test some of the temperatures now you can see here the motherboard temperature is at 107 celsius which is pretty high uh, but these are rugged and they are passively cooled and they're designed uh, to withstand a little bit more higher temperatures i would assume and you can see some of the CPU temperatures there and also some other temperatures listed on there. You can see some information here about the CPU and everything else that you may need to uh, look at in here. Uh, I've given you the specs already and I've also checked the outside of it and it come up at 42 Celsius even though you can't see it on the screen here and that's because my recorder wouldn't pick up uh, the digital display on there but it was 42 Celsius. So I'm just going to run a stability test on this and I've run this for quite some time and it never crashed and it never had any problems whatsoever and also the temperatures were fine I had no problems whatsoever running uh, benchmarks on here as well so I also run Geekbench and we've got the single core of 1063 and the multi core of 3040 uh, now these are not going to be sort of uh, shout scores to shout from the rooftops but it, remember this is only a Celeron N3160 inside here so you can get other chips and stuff now also the uh, Wi-Fi on this worked really really well uh, when I used it I downloaded and, and run loads of stuff via the Wi-Fi so the Wi-Fi works really well on here and you can also use the LAN port as well if you want to use uh, uh, LAN uh, connection and get a better connection via the LAN okay so also uh, what we're going to check out is some video play via Kodi and I did some 4k videos here just to show you you can play 4k uh, movies uh, via Kodi and you can see that's as smooth as silk there's no problems there whatsoever and I'll play a couple of others and I couldn't capture the screen I had a bit of an issue trying to do that but I'll just uh, run it through this way that's okay as you can see no problems here and I'll try to skip here to see if it allows you to skip the video and to see if there's any problems and you can see when I push skip it just catches up straight away a little bit of buffer and that's it it's fine and that's a 4k movie and that's playing just fine there and I'll try and skip it one more time there you go little quick buffer and it starts to catch up 
So as you can see, it's handling everything. I've chucked at it. It plays all your videos, all your content here. Now you can also use this as a media server, file sharing server, just a normal computer. And if you haven't got a lot of room inside your office, then you can use this little small form factor uh, computer. You can also use it portably, which means you can put it in a suitcase and take it about with you and just plug it in and get it up and running. As Windows 10 it also runs Linux. It's pretty awesome, very well built as you can see here. And uh, pretty much you can use it for whatever you like really anyway i'm going to wrap this one up my name is brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk i want to thank logic supply uh, for sending this one over uh, for review thanks again for watching guys bye for now